Hey boys, today we're playing the beginner's guide. Have a cup of coffee. Here. Take a swig, here, honey. Let's get started. Sorry, boys. I'm also sick as well, and uh, I saw this game on like a YouTube short. I forgot the guy's name, but uh, let's get started. Please make sure the audio's on. Hopefully so. Audio is now on. WSD and click. Of course. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing The Beginner's Guide. My name is Davey Reeton. I wrote The Stanley Parable. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff and his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. Sorry. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You no can way. walk around here, by the way. Oh. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. Ooh, strafing, strafing like weird like is go. Let's that see even it. though he starts from Oof. the simple aesthetic Damn. of a desert town, he then scatters <sighs> these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it destroys the illusion that this oh, actually shit. is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, the fuck? what was Black going blob. through his head as he was building this? He's better for this is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give Strip us access to their creator. Boom. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. Uh, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. I was going to combat it for a for a second so, there. It's 2008. Uh, Coda starts making these games, and damn, he never like 13, releases them. He doesn't put them dude, on the internet. Four. He just makes them and then <laughs> well, literally. abandons them, and they sit on his computer forever. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. And okay. that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. As each game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. I'm, bro, I'm off the perkies. I'm sure. Oh, okay. I got the. The minorities know! I need to this run. This game is called Escape from Whisper. Oh. And it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Damn you, Coda. How could you? This is not huzzah plug moment. You strafe again. <laughs> Bam! 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 Boom. Boom. No. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies. No way. Somewhere. But then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. <laughs> this you can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. Uh, and I think that we what? should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy force neutralized. Begin shoot evacuation. Uh, uh, okay. Let's go this way. Huzzah. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. <laughs> Incredible! 
Incredible gameplay. Oh. We're in the maze of Apparently minorities. Apparently this space station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Boo. I wanna go through the maze. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Mm. Shit. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... What? Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Absolutely you fucking do not. Huh, not a chance in hell. Absolutely not. Not huzzah, no. God damn it. I have to do the Fortnite move. Let me pause here for a second. <laughs> what you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. Oh. Oh, I'm still kicking. <laughs> okay. Do I just, like, turn around? I guess not. Do I just, like, not go back in? Strafe. Oh. Oh. That, that, huzzah. <laughs> no way. The beam causes you to start floating. And this is an important oh, moment for him. Oh, you because see, like, yes, the line. this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, oh. juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. November 2008. Oh, we're in the brick. We're in the back rooms of the brick. We're in the bricked up rooms. Oh, the past was behind her. Fuck. Oh. Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh. Do I like? How how the fuck do I move then? The fuck. This is weird. What the fuck? Can I like fall? I, I can't fall. Okay. I, uh, so it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, more complete. Right, just Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Why does the future keep changing? What? She stops and looks, it becomes clear. What? I, I'm, I'm confuzzled, I'm off the perky. But the future is always behind her. How will she find the strength to confront it? It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. We in the fucking area. Oh. I'm in light. You are now entering. The strafing area, this, the area of strafing is, uh, whoosh, whoosh, oh. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Uh, how? Uh, I'm not trying to be mean, just like, how? Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Uh, the, the twin, uh, the triple towers. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Tell him he's bad at Fortnite? I don't know. Oh. 
How am I slowing down? Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Uh, yeah, the fuck? I want to see what's in there. Huzzah! What? Stand on X at bearing... Bear for three at what? Game for only movie quotes played one after the other while the player cannot move? A room that's warm and nice, and filled with little ideas for games. What? Koda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Why do you just have like a room just full of game? I, I'm just confused. <laughs> You're ready, said fish. Okay. We're fishing. And we're not fishing. <laughs> oh, shit. Strike the camera too fast. Boom. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Uh, yeah, what the fuck is going on? Is there just like nothing? It's just international get fucked day? Boom. I, 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 I don't get it. <laughs> I close the door. The word of now has been solved. They can go home. Or not. Something here. Is uh da, 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 da. you have to do it, do I? I don't fucking get it. I, I, I don't understand. There's something here that I, I, I don't get. I might be going to YouTube City, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know, I see this cloud smoke thing. Is there something above here? Alright, let me just walk you through it. Finally. You're gonna hit the switch on the outside to open the door, then hit this. Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're gonna oh. see it a lot. Three dots, okay, what? Strafe City. What? <laughs> Are we in like a loop thing? Mm -hmm. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. I... How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? 
we're talking about some extraterrestrial. Oh, we're back to the movement game to welcome to. Welcome you to fucking nothing. You are now exiting. Uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are what? literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. I'm too autistic for the shit. I don't understand what's going on. I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not even gonna attempt to like lie. I don't know what the fuck's going. Oh, we're in like the cover of like Mac Miller, and there's just house. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Uh, to make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Oh, shit. Bam. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. If I just, like, say fucking... Bank, bank, za, boom, boom, boom. Oh no! <laughs> bank, we've now arrived at the infinite corridor of corridor. Like a cattle pen or some shit. I am lost. Oh. But what if I don't want to go in? Can I avoid it? Can I say no thank you? Well, I guess I go in. Oh. I guess I'm going up cattle pen cell wall thing. I guess I have now arrived. Oh, this way. This prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Hey, you pet your ass for a gun, what the fuck? I feel like I'm like off meth. Like I'm off this the is perk something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. What in the fuck? Can, okay, now I can go down. There's a. Uh... I'm not gonna lie, if Mason sent me a fucking hundred games that were non playable, I don't even look at this motherfucker's Instagram memes. I'm not even gonna be fucking. Like, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, Mason. I do not watch your Instagram memes you send me. I just don't fucking it's care. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. Do I do thing? Is uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't fucking. Remember. Oh. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. I'm not gonna lie. 
I don't want to be a dick, but this man is reaching like a motherfucker. Listen, listen, listen. You there, did you come from Here, up Kuda above? begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Yes, there was a world stamped with whiteness. The enormous prison I spent hours in. Yes, there were floating colored. I'm going to go with number two. That's the world above. You've been there. And that is important. Did you have to get through the puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming up here. Or coming here. No, I don't I remember having to go through the any puzzle. I prefer not to tell you after all we only just met. I'm going to go with number one. Again, perfect. Now, please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. I don't remember. I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I didn't solve it. Someone else helped me, and trust me, he didn't want to go through. I'm going to go with number one. You must think harder. Please try to remember. It is so important that we get out of here. We must escape this prison. Can you think harder? There must be something more. Please tell us how to reach the end. Do you want to know? No, I've been. I'm just go with number one. No, no. We actually find the black space between the doors to be far more interesting. Have you seen it yet? Why would I care about the? Actually, now that you mention it, I feel str feeling strange as I pass through it. I don't recall. Let me go with number two. Don't think too hard about it. You'll see it again soon. What? This motherfucker just, like, didn't release him. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. <laughs> God damn. I feel like I'm just not gonna cut this up in, like, any level. Like, I'm just gonna... I feel like I should just make this just, like, a whole slab it's of a content. Post. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but... For some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Yeah. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Okay. That's what I was saying. I feel like I'm not going to like cut this up in any way. I'm just going to let it be how it is. Just like, be... Just no cutting, nothing, just upload it and maybe like put a title on the thumbnail. As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Cool. Bubble. Bubble burn. Nice room. Not. Boom. Boom. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. 
I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. But it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often <laughs> Open that sesame. we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. I... Okay, the, the big... Dude, I feel like this is the average fucking painting that like people use their, like, their drug money to funnel through. I'm going to throw paint splashes. $8,000, take it now. Drug dealer man, you take this painting that is worth now thirty billion dollars. I will wash your drug money for you. Okay, now. <laughs> well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're all here now, dipshit. <laughs> Is that his terrible secret? He kept it well. Strafe, strafe. <laughs> At yeah. the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again, and here. I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together, to grasp at that elusive bigger picture. How do I have these notes? I'll put in no I can no, I probably shouldn't. Hi writer, are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me please. You're having so much difficulty talking. Speak, 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 speak. Oh. Oh. June two thousand and nine. Porn stars die too. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. Am I on like heaven or some shit? With like, oh, oh, like what is going on? Oh my god, I'm in heaven right now. Holy shit, the brightest light known to man. <laughs> like, oh shit, got my hand in that. Oh, door open. What the fuck are we going to now? Okay, this game needs to hurry up quick. Holy shit, I'm starting to sweat my nuts off. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Oh, oh what? The furniture out to go into the center of the room. How about TVs to the refrigerator? a giant hole in the ground. <laughs> what? That's for big old hole in the ground. Okay, now what? Along the wall of the room. 
Ten stoves lined up along the wall. How about that? Bruh. I said ten stoves on the wall. We should light up this room. We'll put live Tesla coils in each corner. I said Tesla coils, you bitch. And the table I need it, bitch. The tables were invented in 1935. <laughs> uh, there's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness's sake. I, it, I, I don't even understand. Why? So okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. I, uh, please walk forward. This guy will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care of... Oh. First click on the table. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. I to turn the floor lamp in this room off and then turn it back on. Okay. Now go to the left side of the sofa and move it over a little. What's that? Finally, touch the shelves. That's it. In, in a real prison, the escape will now... That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. And of course, now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick for a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Wow. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. Okay. Look, Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop. That particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going. And then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. What? It's in like a the fucking town at night. It's black. Just, <laughs> Just nothing at all. It's an infinite void. Oh, okay, yeah. Literal infinite void. I feel like I'm like below fucking bedrock and just like infinite. I think it will stand at light. Okay, now I would stand and call the phone. Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me. Um, you from after you escaped the prison. So you were trapped in this prison too. Yeah. Yep, I was in the future. It's maze. a conversation. And so this is what Coda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. That's but the right, irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Actually, I'm already forgetting what's being like in prison. It's strange, but in a way, I kind of miss being in the prison. It really feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. I'm going to number three. I'm feeling any different. Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and some then things will be exactly the same as before. No, I'm really the same person now as I was back then. It actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Let's go to. Oh good. It's so nice to hear. 
It makes me feel really happy. Age is kind of kind of that, does you know? I'm, s I'm still me, but I'm s s not somehow. It's hard to describe. But remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. I'm gonna go with three. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? I'm gonna go with number one. Can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you? What, what do I have to do? To get out, all I have to do is be sincere. To get out, you need to tell me how you feel right now. Can I just talk with me for a bit? Um, let's go with one. What? That will free me? How does that work? Listen, you, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Sincere about what? That's exactly what you need to figure out to ex in order to escape. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. You're in like a... Oh, hello there. Oh my goodness, I'm glad it's all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house all by myself and, and be right miserable if that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands to make lousy homes. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this, this new whole and place? improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. That's the From story here on out, he begins one. putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. Be and this mess particular in time, game took two months to create as a result. There was more. Well, I don't finish up here in the main table. Clean up the table. Oh, damn, that was quick. Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Now would you run into the bedroom and make make the bed? Okay. Let's do that. It's all. It's now been made. Please run. While you're in there, why don't you strain out the rag a bit? All those all details matter. How do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How do you end up doing this? It's been a long time since I've been in a house this messy. Let's go with one. Well, hmm. I don't enjoy it as much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel kind of calm that rests in the pit of my ribcage. My soul just can't suit by any other way, it seems, which I guess it's all that matters. Oh, that tidy couch. Will you strain the pillows on the sofa out there? Boom. Oh dear, it looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as they're over there. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. Now nah, let's go with two. Fuck it. I'll try to get by. <laughs> the furnace, bro. <laughs> no. Okay. Fuck. Oh. This is stupid. Sorry. Never mind. Hey, these dishes need to be washed. Why don't you come do that? Is that right? Never washed. I checked. I need the tub. Need a cleaning. We scrub it down as best you can. Need to be perfect. We're all, we're all just human. Boom. It's not that bad. This house is high end. So would you put them back on the shelf? Oh, the books are scattered. Let me go find them. I'm kind of retarded. Oh, never mind. Boom. Perfect. How about you come and clear these dishes off the After table? After the intense set of prison oh. games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. 
and eventually cohere into something meaningful. In your lifetime, you're going to clean a lot of houses, and among all those, a few of them will stick out as truly wonderful, that Kuda beautiful really experiences. Liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. No, this was during a period good. of a few months where he was like grossly happy all the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Nice. No, that will be the ones that were easy. Just to th just something to think about while you're smooth at the rug, rug in the ba bedroom. Just repeat again. Looks like the tub has gotten rather dirty. Would you mind tidying it up a bit? Bro, I'm going through everything again. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, missed my five minutes. Earlier when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say that it occurs to me that, that one house is a lot like one soul. You take care of it, it takes care of you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> don't don't why I felt so weird about saying that. Yeah, you're right. That's pretty cheesy. But there's a bit of truth in it. I get that's a weird thing to say somebody, but you just met fucking one. Yeah. Anyway, so housekeeping. <laughs> Let's keep doing it. Books should you clean up the boy, bro? Are we going through everything again? This is not the thing. Oh goodness, those pillows are on the couch I'm are really nice. This. I'm glad he found some peace. Blow his hat off or some shit? What happened? Actually, I don't. But mean. of course, it can't last. The music stops. Your companion is gone. It's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. So Again, it goes. You can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. That's life. Oh, nine the door. Oh, I mean, like smoke thing. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. September two. I'm so you love this that number. It's only prices. Goofy. Why did you come here today? I didn't want to be here today. The fuck? Does it improve your life? Is it to get a better job, bitch? Does it make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. No, that's the fuck. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. You want your friends and people in your life to look at you and think, no, this person is a better human being than I am right now. With, who do you think about that way in your own life? Why do you, who do you know who is well developed as a person that makes him f you feel disgusted with yourself. Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, and grateful, I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. You know what the fuck it is. And the question is not how do we do it, but that we do it effortlessly. This is easy. About is halfway so easy. through the game, the perspective shifts. Being perfect is effortless. This is the key. How do I cheat? And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. Oh. And the way to work, I told him now my person starts contributing to society. Of course, we go number two. Well, let me tell you right now, it is an effort. It's not the right answer. You bet your ass it isn't. No one's fucking perfect. You're torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions to your life. You're not doing it right. Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is for you. Seek seek out only one thing was the easiest, simple path, simplest path forward. You, I de are developing assist. Gross. Haha, <laughs> 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 just kidding. And I always want to do some ecstasy after this. There's no, no truth. There's no path. Do what is easiest. Do what is simplest. Feel what is true. What if I'm not a good teacher? Holy shit, you guys. Something's coming out of the back of the room. Look out. 
I don't know what the fuck that is. Nothing. No one. It's coming for you. It's going to destroy us. Everyone, run, run. <laughs> I fell pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable Perfection. experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. Zara. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Oh, hello there. <laughs> All right, the performance is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. And we're just start out against the wall. Oh. God damn. Oh. Good, stay right there. <clears throat> this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her. You gain something to succeed. Oh, you don't want to say something to her. It's good, bitch. Sorry, I have to leave. Where's the bathroom? Hello. Hello, with that. That's it. That's not a conversation. Happy, focused, wise, successful. You do it again. I'm super scared right now. I like you. Here are all the hopes of my dreams. We are going to go with number three right now. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, I was just one moment. But I was confident. Maybe it's it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There was a lot of people around. Oh, okay, a lot of binger boinger thingies. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones bounce when you touch them. Represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. You have worked really hard to get where you are. I'll I'll bet you learned to lean into the pain. Or some sacrifices you had to make? Three. Mmm. Messing it all up again. Fuck you. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize or how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Everything was riding on this. Hmm. I want to try something. Her stepping back from the stage. Whoa. I feel like I'm the future scene. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Okay, this way. Oh. Okay, this way. Okay, yes, and this is working. This the is game ends with this oh, eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away, which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away sorry, from boys, possible connections to, say I'm to sick. anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't my guy COVID actually. when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Oh. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Mobius trip. To play the game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. Like I had no chance. Can we do anything? Help, I'm blind. I can't see anything. <laughs> I did go blind. Do I? Please, something. Please tell me how to solve this. Please don't let this be forever. Oh, the door is back. It's big. Oh, 
Ha ha ha. No, he fixed to the bottom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Again? What's going on? I can't see anything. What's going on, man? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. We don't want this to be forever. There's a giant door, and then my vision went back. Oh, this way. Huzzah! Uh oh, I saw for a second there. Need to be quick. Oh shit! I can't say anything. What's going on? Huzzah! Boom, boom. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. I'm, I'm bursting with creative. I can't make this. My work is always wrong. No, this. No, that isn't truthful. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> no, what's going on? Oh shit. Let me just up. I can't keep making these. Huh? Yes, that's it. That's the truth. I don't feel it anymore. I'm out of ideas. Like I said, I was getting concerned. First Straining off, me. he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like. You know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. Damn. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. How many games does this motherfucker make? He's like scrim when it comes to making beats. Hello? Oh. We are in tree land. Big tree. Where did I get this island come from? How do I get out of here? I'm gonna go with one. Oh. Where did this island come from? Is, is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. We are actually in future place. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. I'm gonna go with one. Oh no. What? What's happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start it again. Oh. Wait, you're looking for a machine? Huzzah. Thinking of where it is. It isn't far. Huzzah. What? You have to take me to it. I need it. No. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? If you help me sell this body, we'll, we'll find the machine. It doesn't matter what I say, does it? We're going to end up there one way or another, right? Let's go with three. Okay, I just uh, so I made a deal. Like some trees and shit, man. Come on, I'm gonna show it to you. Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, Sorry, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so, 
He didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. How wonderful. Can you tell me how to do it? First, you have to close. No, first, you have to open the door. First, you press. Oh, we're back again. Okay, now what? Now you have to close the first door. Alright, what's next? Now I just close the first. I just. And I just press the switch here. Was that? Huh? That you was can't simple. Can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. I can't believe I you never saw that You can't be the before. one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup, and you're just going to crash. The fuck. Let's say your work is fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyful and that you'll love it 100% of the time. Ooh. Ah, that's wonderful. If it wasn't true, why do the walls just crumble? I feel so awful when I said that. Don't worry about it, just keep talking. <laughs> Seeing that creation is easy. When I make you feel completely energized, it, it's easy. It's okay. Keep going. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just, I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. <laughs> but it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. It's like fucking Michael with uploading. <laughs> Michael, well, I'm Jake L. Oh, look at now. <laughs> Guard. Ma'am, glad to see you arrived safely. We captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick. So. Very good. <clears throat> Just be warned that someone calls called the press, so we might have a bit of attention on this one. <clears throat> also, one more thing that you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Wow. Will we get out, man? Th 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 okay, that's a lot of people. Like normal. Boom. You stop. And of course, it's the machine. You stop, Venus. You work. You're just keeping us alive. You work. Just keeping us. Just keeping us alive. There's people out there, can you imagine what pain you've put on them? It was only because of your grace and that any of us could make it through. How could we possibly go through? I to trust him. So there's, here's what needs to happen. You need to get back. And I apologize. Okay. You have to admit. No, nothing. Alright then, I'll speak to them for you. I'm a 
followers, my friends. It falls on me to deliver, me to deliver bad news. Number two. The machine will not apologize to us. The machine refused to admit that it was deliberately hurt us. If this is not important, we are stronger than, than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need. We do not need its games. Uh, let's pray. No, let us pay its pay it retribution. Let's show it that we are not failures. <laughs> Follow me. We will destroy the machine. <sighs> this way, cause uh oh. Not here again. Oh, gun again. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Coda, I'll make sure you are, your word dies here, Coda. I'll make sure you're, you're known for it in that one. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. Oh. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. The engine. How could you not upload daily? How could you not like and subscribe? <laughs> Put down your weapon. No. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. What's going to happen now? Uh -huh. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. That does not sound good, my friends. Not good. <laughs> The tower. Which tower we talking about? 
Okay, I probably shouldn't be bullshitting. Probably nothing's good. Probably gonna come from this boys. Let me wire being fuckery. Okay. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. Why is there just a long... I don't even know what the fuck. Like a fence or something? This room actually has a maze in it. Oh. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Perfect. Wall 120 by 128, of course. Bring. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the Number. deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Of course, you're fucking better. I would never figure that fucking out. Five one. God damn it! Now I gotta go through it all again. One five one, six one seven. Opened up. Yeah. Bam. Oh. get some shit. Whoosh. Oh. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point. There's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so... You're fucking better. <laughs> right this way. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? No. I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything not the needs 30. to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. I remember. It's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. This is like looking to somebody's fucking like I, I soul. I felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. 
Happiness is a fleeting emotion. You can never hold on to it forever. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Does anyone Where did I screw up? You didn't. Maybe I'm just being retarded and I don't understand. Dear Davy, thank you for interested in my games. I need to ask you now. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Hey. That's fucking sad. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. You infected my personal space. That's, and that is... the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Yeah. And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, Damn. There was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Certainly to come with no ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. No doubt. You think I am frustrating or broken says so more about me. No said this doesn't make sense to you just yet. It's just fine, you're not you're not my problem to solve. I, but I do hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with things that you I'm are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. Don't say anything. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please. I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Well, that got personal really fucking fast. Epilogue. What's that? You got Clock Tower Mansion, please. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, like ending now. Oh, train station location. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. 
It's like a disease. Let me go through. This is different at like multiple fucking levels. Solution. 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 Oh. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. Oh, maybe he just likes this. making prisons. Keep me out prison for me to, okay. <laughs> okay. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. I'm honestly like, don't know what the fuck to say to be honest. Nope. This is something interesting. Feels like a pillar cavern. Situation. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, we all run on validation. <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Just like like that one part, like the Civil War, like Captain America, where like Iron Man and fucking dude, dude, Captain America and Iron Man are fighting this shit. What now? I feel like I'm walking into like an evil Bat Cave. <laughs> I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, cause I know that I said that I would be here and and I would walk you through this, but starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. I have a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna... Okay. Oh, we're back in CS2? Or CS now? Fun fact, this game was five bucks. Not gonna lie, kind of a steal of a deal. Wait a minute, this motherfucker's profit off fucking Goober's work. I forgot the guy's name already, sorry, but... Not Davey. I think that was the guy's name, but fucking... Or, I forgot his name, but this... You profit off his work, man, what the fuck? <laughs> Slab thing. Do I enter the big hole? I enter the big hole. <laughs> Oh, I, I levitate back up by the way, dude. Back of where we were a minute ago. This is like different on multiple levels from my YouTube channel, like everything I've ever created when it came to content. 
This is like an eye opener at a level. And for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna get jump scared because every time I make a video, I'm playing a fucking horror game. <clears throat> Maybe after this, I'll pivot towards something else, something different. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. I got multiple like YouTube ideas. Oh, okay. I love it again. It's uh. I missed work for this. Well, I was sick. I had COVID. Well, I have COVID. I'm not gonna lie. Or maybe don't. I don't know. But wow, what an incredible fucking game. What an incredibly personal fucking story. Are we not done? Are we done? Turn back. Turn. Fuck out of here. Full of armor. Lydia Nelson, Ryan, the people. Turn back. Run by Melina Heroin. Melina Heroin. I feel like the need to like say something but like this is all I got boys to my sweet your honey but I don't really don't have anything to say I feel like our everything's already been spoken <sighs> maybe this will be uploaded maybe it won't but that was an incredible game see you